Hey, welcome back. We have a knife here. I'm going to unbox over here off screen because it does have some private info on the side of it. That's going to be hard to not show if I do it on camera. So sorry about that for a minute here. All right. This is a long time coming in a story I don't really want to go into, but I made the mistake of selling a knife and it wasn't like a top 20 knife for me or anything at the time. Maybe it might be now, I don't think so still. I think it's still not a top 20 knife, but it's one I really liked and like, you know, when I, I regretted selling, especially because the person I sold it to, I didn't really jive with and stuff. So I wasn't super stoked on the outcome of that sale or that results. It's not like the biggest deal in the world. Um, but here we are, and a version of it is back. So this is uh, Riot Exo, Zirconium, Timascus, and a drop point. I had it in a double edge, which I prefer, but not so significantly that I'm not worried about it or anything, that I'm worried about it or anything. And uh, this one was described as basically being new in box. So we'll see what we got. Man, a lovely pattern on that one too, because you can, you may not realize that, but you get a lot of variety in either Timascus or Damasteel blades. Um, how they're done is just as important as what they are. So this one, this one has a very nice pattern on it. And uh, yeah, it looks as described, new in box. So beauty, very much a beauty there. And this is the LMAX one, which I really prefer, like for the Zerka tie, I think it looks really good with this LMAX finish. Um, there's just a little fingerprint here I'm gonna wipe off really quickly. Bear with me, being the fanatic that I am. Okay, let's check the edge real quickly, brand new. Brand new on the edge. Yeah, sweet. Look at that beautiful grind on there too. Man, that is very cool. And I'm not gonna use this much. This is really a collector for me, but just carefully slide them back in there and I'll go back in the box. But serial number seven there, one of the cooler numbers, 007 for a serial number. 007 made on 07 of 2022 also, which is kind of cool. Um, didn't uh, catch that in the initial pictures, actually. And then let me see if I can just clean it up in here a little bit. I just noticed a little bit of probably oil or something in there. But yeah, this looks brand new. It doesn't look like... The thing about these is that if you flip around a lot, even if you don't carry it, it does get some wear on it. I have one here that's like my go-to for flipping. It's a Purple Haze Fat Carbon version of it. And you can see in multiple areas here, you get some wear. I'll back this back off. It'll probably be a little easier to see. You get some wear, like right here at the top of the blade where it rubs along. You can see that on the other side as well. You get some wear in here where this sort of rubs up and down against it. So you can see that in there. You get a little bit of wear down here at the bottom also where it closes. So yeah, there's some rubbing that happens. These things don't have like, they're not like fully suspended. They're attached back here on the pivot. And then by the time it's all the way up here, there's some movement and play. And so you do get some wear on those by using them, just by flipping them around and stuff. You don't have to carry it to get wear on it. So I bought this one for much like, probably half the price of that one. Um, not only because it's, you know, not Zerka tie, Although I do really like this purple fat carbon that Smoky Mountain Knife Works did. It was an exclusive and I think it's a really, really nice pattern. Honestly, like cosmetically right up there with the Zerka tie. It's obviously not quite from like a cost and a rarity. There's many other elements that play into the value of a knife, of course, but in terms of, you know, basically everything else, all things objectively considered, whoops. Drop my patch, hang on one sec. No, it's not the patch, it's the sticker. Um, you know, I do feel like uh, 
Um, this one right here just checks a lot of the boxes for me. Um, just just on the same level almost as the Zerkatai. It's just really a nice, nice version. And this one is the double edge. Um, so really cool one, but that's my one that I flip around because I got it with that wear on it and that makes me you know, not so worried about it. So I can have the Zerka one open here and flip this around and have some fun and stuff. Show you how fast I can do it or completely fail it like that um, twice in a row. If I look at the camera, it's really hard to do. So you can get it in and out that fast, um, which is pretty cool. Let me uh, maybe give myself a little more room on the camera. So you can see that's all the way out and all the way back in that quickly. So yeah, these are really awesome. They're not necessarily like a go-to carry knife for me or anything like that. In fact, I've never carried one outside of the house, but they're just beautiful pieces of knife artwork. And uh, yeah, this one's actually noticeably heavier um, than this one. It's not like crazy, but let me get a quick weigh in just for fun. Maybe give us a little indicator of the difference there. I don't know what's going on with my camera. It's not zooming or focusing on its own right now. Whoops. Three zero. And ounces. So this guy is 4.85 with the fat carbon and 5.37. Pretty big difference. I don't know how much of that's just the blade. You know, grind also, not having the, uh, you know, on the double edge, they kind of take the top of the blade off. So you do take off some material there, but you don't on the drop point. Um, but I think it's mostly those inlays are significantly heavier in the titanium versus the carbon. So yeah, sweet. Really excited to have this back in the collection. Uh, it's a beauty and um, that's really it for this one. I've already done the video review on it when I first got the double edge one, so I don't really need to repeat all that. This is more of a got it back in the collection video. So all for now, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.